This man's life was spiraling out of control. When his baby was left on the train track, something terrible could have happened. However, a dog came to their rescue. In this small town's train station, a young man spoke to a beautiful woman who was sitting on a bench. This man's name was Alex, and the woman was Emily. This was the first day they met, and the first chapter of their love story. It was love at first sight. Not long after this encounter, the pair made their relationship official. After only a few months together, they made plans to get married and start a family. After a year of dating, the couple got engaged. They held their wedding in the local church. Shortly after their honeymoon, Emily became pregnant. Alex had always dreamed of finding the perfect wife, and becoming a father felt surreal. There were very few complications during Emily's pregnancy, and she was looking forward to the day she'd get to hold her first child. The couple couldn't be happier. That was until Emily went into labor. On that day, Emily still had a month left until the due date. Out of nowhere, her water broke. She fainted into Alex's arms, who immediately called for help. The ambulance arrived as quickly as possible to take Emily to the maternity ward. When they arrived at the hospital, she woke up clutching her swollen belly. Alex held onto Emily's hand and tried to comfort her as she cried out. One of the doctors explained to Alex that the baby was in a difficult position and that Emily was in need of an emergency cesarean section. He was escorted out of the room and directed to the waiting area. Alex couldn't sit still. He paced around the room, his breaths uneven from anxiety. He had a bad feeling that he couldn't ignore. After a few hours, the same doctor left the room and walked over to Alex. Alex could immediately sense that something was wrong. The doctor's expression was sad, and he couldn't see Alex's eyes. I'm sorry, sir, the doctor said. Your baby's currently being looked after, but your wife didn't make it. It felt like someone had ripped his heart out. Alex fell to his knees, clutching at his shirt. He cried and screamed, begging the doctor to do something, anything, to bring his wife back. A few more doctors and nurses stepped forward to comfort the grieving man. Since that day, Alex had never been the same. Soon after, he was diagnosed with depression. Alex didn't have the physical or mental energy to care for his newborn son, so his sister stepped in to help him out. His sister, Lauren, was unmarried and had no children, so she was able to devote all of her spare time to her baby nephew. She pitied her brother for having lost the love of his life, and she was always happy to help her family. However, she didn't find it easy watching her brother suffer. Alex's life fell apart. He couldn't bring himself to go to work, and eventually lost his job. He stopped talking to his friends and spent most of his days locked up in his room. The worst part of all of this was that he turned to alcohol to numb his pain. Drinking didn't solve anything, but he couldn't stop this bad habit. Lauren researched mental illnesses to see if there was anything she could do to support Alex. She heard from a few people that getting a pet could be very beneficial to someone with depression or anxiety. She contacted the local animal shelter to see if there were any dogs that they would recommend for Alex's situation. The volunteer mentioned a two-year-old dog called Joy. The next day, Lauren drove to the shelter to meet her. All it took was one second before Lauren knew that Joy was the perfect dog for Alex. Like her namesake, Joy was a golden retriever that always had a smile on her face. She was full of energy and instantly made the people around her happier. Lauren signed the adoption papers and brought the canine home, excited to see her brother's reaction. As Joy walked into the house, Alex couldn't hide his surprise. The dog came in and leaped over to her new owner before playing with the baby that was sitting on the floor. The little boy's giggles filled the room. Lauren was pleased to see her brother smile. It was the first time he had smiled in months. Joy was already helping Alex and she'd only been there for a few minutes. A couple of months passed, and Alex was getting better. Even though he continued to drink, he was able to get out of the house once again, and even reached out to his friends. Most importantly, he was able to give his son the love and attention that the little boy deserved. Every now and then, it would hurt Alex to see his son's resemblance to Emily, 
But he didn't admit this feeling to anyone. He simply tried to stop thinking about his wife. A new habit that he was able to pick up was walking his new dog around the neighborhood. Everyone who met Joy adored her, and they were all grateful for the positive impact she had on Alex. However, the day of Alex and Emily's wedding anniversary came up, and he could no longer ignore what had happened to her. During the week leading up to it, Alex drank more than ever before. Lauren had to take over child care once again because her brother wasn't in the right frame of mind. When the day arrived, Alex went to the train station where he first met Emily. His sister was at work, and he couldn't leave his son at home alone, so he took the baby with him. When they arrived at the empty station, Alex noted that the place was completely empty. Alex drank the entire bottle dry. He climbed down to the tracks, taking his son with him. Alex didn't want to leave his son unattended, but his judgment was also clouded. While holding his son, the poor man cried. He wept until he had no more tears left to cry, and eventually fell asleep from fatigue. Alex had made the mistake of sitting too close to the tracks. Even though his son was in his arms as he fell asleep, the little baby was curious and crawled away from his father. The father left the baby on the tracks, and there was no one around to help them. Shortly before Alex and the boy arrived at the station, Lauren returned home from work. After entering the house, she was worried when she didn't receive a greeting. She called out for her brother, but there was no one in the house. However, there was one exception. Joy ran up to Lauren, barking loudly. Now, although it was normal for Joy to be energetic, there was something in the way the dog acted that made Lauren worry. The dog seemed stressed. Lauren asked Joy if she could lead her to where her brother was. In an instant, the dog headed toward the front door, begging to be let out. Lauren wasted no time in opening the door. She followed the dog, running after her. A couple of minutes later, the dog rushed into the train station. Lauren knew this place is where Alex and Emily had first met. With her heart pounding in her chest, she hurried inside, keeping an eye on where Joy was going. When Lauren reached the train tracks, she finally understood why Joy was behaving strangely. A whistle echoed from a distance, indicating that a train was arriving. Lauren screamed at the sight of her brother and the baby beside the tracks. Then, the dog did something unthinkable. She ran over to the crying baby, gently picked him up with her mouth, and pushed Alex as far away from the tracks as possible. The train sped by a few seconds later, but the father and the baby were safe. The dog had rescued them. As terrifying as the incident was, no one got hurt. Nevertheless, the father learned his lesson. Ever since then, Alex has sworn to do right by his wife and be the best father that he could be. He ended his toxic habits and was able to obtain a well-paying job. Lauren was glad to see her brother healthy once again and would regularly visit her growing nephew. The family couldn't thank Joy enough for everything she had done for them. This story goes to show that dogs really are man's best friend. <laughs>